Roski and I uh, work here at Nonsuch. I'm the head brewer. I got into beer because I was a stay-at-home dad for uh, my twin boys and uh, they were about uh, nine months, ten months old and I, all I did was stay at home with them so I was going a little stir-crazy but uh, so I needed a hobby. So my hobby, I decided I wanted to be a brewer. So I just went online, did research for three months, and then just made my first batch of beer, which is like a honey amber beer. It turned out good, and a lot of people really liked it, not just my wife, and so I kept going, and then I started winning awards uh, for my beer. I got involved with the president, Matthew Sabarin. He was a part of the home brew community, and I was the president of the Winnipeg Brew Bombers at the time, and I, just, he, he liked my beer and soon we just became business partners. It took us about three months to come up with a name. We had a whole bunch of different names out there and we were just racking our brains. Nonsuch came in early and we just said, man, whatever, and we brushed it off. And then they thought about it and then they said, yeah, it's sort of, it's an icon iconic uh, name because uh, everybody in Manitoba should know what the Nonsuch uh, boat is. We started off at the Commons, at the Forks, in the summertime when we uh, served the Saison. So it was a higher alcohol Belgian style beer, it's an 8.4% of a 34 IBU. So it's a verging on the bitterness side, but not quite. It's like a Belgian style, but with the North American twist where I add a North American hops to it, just to add a little bit more fruitiness. Another one we just bottled was the Old Ale X. It turned out really good. It's like a 10%, sort of like a barley wine, a little bit thinner, not much. So it has a little bit different characteristics than a barley wine, but it's very similar in that sense. We have a Tripel. It's a Belgian strong beer. It's a light, pale beer that's 9.5%. So it's lighter in flavor, but higher in alcohol. And I will be making a Belgian strong very shortly to put in bottles. And that one's gonna be a little bit lower, like 8%. We want people to experience the beer as not just a vehicle to get drunk. It's an enjoyment factor. It's a community, it's like a fine glass of wine that you share with friends.